what is going on everybody happy halloween hopefully you guys are having a great trading day i'm over here on tradeify.co they have made some pretty big changes to their straight to funded accounts um so we're gonna go over all the change i'm gonna break them all down and i'm gonna tell you my thoughts on the changes that they've made but before I get into it, there will be a link down below in the description that will take you to tradeify.co. If you use the code SPOOKY, which ends on 1023, so tomorrow, they have a 55% off of their advanced and growth accounts and 40% off of their straight to funded accounts. Um, if you do miss the sale, I'm sure they will have more sales and it's always up here uh, at the top of their website, just in case you miss it. The first major change that they made was they upped the max accounts that you can get. So they went from getting five accounts to now you can get a max of seven accounts. And that's for all of them, whether you're doing the 100K or 50K. And that's a lot. I mean, that's like over $50,000 worth of funding that you're getting. I'm not adding the 150K account because you really don't get that. It's really that match trailing drawdown. So I think it's like $52,000 is what you get worth of funding if you were to buy seven accounts, which is a ton. And then the other change that they made uh, was they had a button down here that said it was yearly fee for the accounts. And that button was actually messed up. It was supposed to say a one-time fee. So they went ahead and they fixed it. So it's a one-time fee of $699 for the 150K, $629 for the 100K, and then $549 for the 50K. And then you can take off 40% or, you know, whatever the amount is when they change it. So, yeah, I mean, they're they're pretty cheap and there's no eval. So definitely a way to go if you're profitable. Tradeify has updated their payout requirements. So any account that's been purchased before November 19th of 2024, you're going to fall into the old rules. So you're grandfathered in after the 19th, you're going to be into the new rules. So right now it's uh, October 30th. So if you buy an account from now until the 19th, you'll be under the old rules. And then anything after that, you're going to have to go to the new rules. So you're really going to be aware of when you're purchasing the account, what rules you fall under. So we're going to compare the old rules to the new rules and kind of talk about the changes that they're making. So the consistency rule is going to be 20%. So your best day can't be more than 20% of your total profits. The minimum days traded is going to be 10 separate trading days. And that's between your first withdrawal and the next payout that you make. So let's say you trade like 20 days. You can't get two payouts. It's got to be 10 days, payout, then another 10 days, and then another payout is how that works. Um, if this requirement is not met at the end of the current payout period, you may request on the next payout period, you need five or more minimum days traded with a profit greater than $100. The day counts resets to zero after each successful withdrawal. So after you withdraw a payout, you go back to zero and you start over again. And a trading day is counted as at least one trade placed from 6 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, the next day. So that is the minimum days traded. The account balance needed to reach. So you need to reach and maintain at least $100 in profit over the max trailing drawdown limit. So we'll get into the max drawdown limit in a second. This amount must be maintained until the payout request is approved. So let's say you're above your limit and you go to take a payout. You take the payout. They haven't yet paid you out and you take another trade and then you fall below the, the threshold. Then they won't pay you out because technically you don't have the funds. So pretty much once you take a payout or you request your payout, just wait to get the money. If unless you're like super, super over and you know you're good. But if you're like right on the line, just wait, get your payout, and then you won't have to worry about this. If you are in a 50K account, the max trailing drawdown is 2,500. The buffer is $100. So in order to take a payout, you need at least $52,600 in the account. A $100,000 account, the trailing drawdown is going to be $5,000. Same $100 buffer. So you need $10,500 or $105,100 in the account. And then lastly, the 150K is $7,500, $100 buffer. And then you need $157,600 in the account to be able to take a payout. So that's the old rules that they have. And now let's look at the new rules that they have moving forward after November 19th. The consistency rule is going to stay the same. So you're still going to need to be 20% consistent. The minimum days traded is going to be the exact same, those 10 separate days. Same thing with the withdrawals. But the change is going to be that the five or more minimum days of showing profit 
is going to change depending on what type of account you're in. So if you're in a 50K account, you can make $150 in profit, 100K account, $200 in profit, and 150K account, you need $250 in profit. So in that 10 day period, at least five of those days, you got to hit these profit goals to be able to request a payout. Uh, the day count recess to zero is the exact same. And then the trading day counted is the exact same. Another thing that they changed was the account balance needed to actually make a withdrawal. So you have to reach and maintain at least 1% of the account size over the trailing max drawdown limit. So instead of the $100, now it goes to 1%. Everything else here is saying the exact same. So let's look at the criteria that you need to reach in order to request a payout. So for a 50K account, it's going to be the trailing max drawdown of 2,500. So you need to get over that. And then that 1% buffer that comes in instead of the $100 buffer, you now $500. That's 1% of a $50,000 account. So you need to have at least $53,000 in it to be able to request a payout. The 100K account, it's going to be 5,000. You need $1,000 for their buffer. So it's going to be $106,000. And then the 150K account, is going to be that same 7,500 for the Charlie Max drawdown. It's going to be 1,500 for that 1% buffer. So you need $159,000 in order to take a payout. Now the payout windows are exactly the same as they were before the first and the fifth of every month. And then the 15th through the 18th of every month. And then they give you uh, the, when the window actually opens for payout and then the payout tiers, the minimum payout amount is a thousand dollars. So you, you have to request at least a thousand dollars. Uh, in the payout request for 50k, it's going to be $2,000 on your first payout, 2,500, and then 3k. Your second payout, same, same, same. Third payout, same, same, same. Right. So nothing really changes. But after the third payout, once you move to the fourth payout, that's normally when they try to take people live. The whole point is that they're they're trying to take traders from the sim, uh, straight to sim funded to a live account. So they say that normally after your fourth or going into your fourth payout, that's when they will look to start taking you live. And they can also just move you into a live account after uh, you've hit your third payout. But the payout request does go up by $500 for each of them. So you can request a little bit more after that. I think that these changes are good. However, I would like to see them move more toward the changes that Apex is making and Topsup has already made with basically getting rid of the payout window in general. Um, I think that they'll do it eventually. I, they're just, they're brand new. And so I'm not mad at the payout window because I think to start out with everything, I think having that structure and just making sure that everybody is getting paid at a certain time is a lot easier for a new company that's just starting to grow and might not have the staff to be able to take on, you know, payouts anytime. So I understand why they're doing it. So I like this change because it's starting to move towards that with, you know, having to make a certain amount of profit over the five days. I think eventually they'll go ahead and kind of change their criteria up and bring it more in line with the rest of the prop firm industry. But for now, I do like what they're doing and how they're 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 moving to, I would say, probably an easier payout structure for them, which in turn would just allow them to pay people out easier and that's kind of the the name of the game is you know as traders we just care about the payout right but the company's the one that's actually paying us out so whatever they can do to make payouts easier on their end to get the payouts faster to the trader i think is a good thing and that's why i think they're kind of moving towards this not to mention it should make it a lot easier for them to take people live which is ultimately what their goal is is to take people live so that they're trading their own funds at that point and it's just a win-win for the trader and it's a win for Tradeify as a whole. So like I said, I really like this company and I really like what they're doing. So that wraps up all of the changes that Tradeify has made to the straight to SIM funded accounts. If you guys have any questions at all, please make sure you leave them down in the comments below. If you like update videos like this, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And if you haven't seen my full breakdown of Tradeify.co, my full review on it and you know everything that I think about it, then you can check it out right over here.